for not working right here. Let me see what I can do about fixing this. Hmm. Nope. All right, someone's got to tell me if I'm horizontal or not. I'll wait till somebody tunes in. All right. Can you see me? Am I the way I'm supposed to be? Is it horizontal? I'm not even able to see your signs. There we go. Molly done. Somebody tell me if I'm right side up or whatever. It never looks right to me. I don't think I'm up um, right side up or not. I think it's supposed to be like that. No. Wow, this is really whacked up, isn't it? All right, I'm trying. Okay, am I right side up? No, I'm not. Man, that shouldn't surprise you, huh, Molly? Let's see if I can figure this out. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Damn it. Damn it. All right, I'm going to sign off and... Yeah, I'm, I'm right side up there. All right, let's 501. We'll do it horizontal today. How about now? Does that work? There, but it's horizontal. Okay. Well, we'll go with it this way. And I got to make sure the words are showing up right. Nope. Okay. One moment, please. There. Now we got it right. All right. Welcome to Know It Alls. We have a fantastic show for you today. We have three great questions, and I am sitting on a road in Glendale. Now, what this means is there's nobody here waiting for me to be parked here, but occasionally people jog by, and they look at me really strange, like, what are you doing here parked in the middle of a deserted street? And the reason is it's a shady place to do the show. But now when they walk by, I'll also be talking to myself. So this is going to work out just great. Uh, I'm very excited. I had a good Tuesday at work. I hope everybody had a good Tuesday, whether you were at work or not. Now, am I allowed to type down here on these things? I guess not. Only you guys can type. Huh. All right. I did talk to Carl Roberts. Nice talking to you today, too. Carl was the big winner of our Cincinnati dry carpet cleaning question yesterday. We have another great question today. It'll be our third question. And Carl, you should get a call from the owner of that as well. Randy, how are you? Hope to see you at work real soon. Now, who else is here? John Rolfe is from Cleveland, Ohio. Linda Vaccarella. Michael Cosby. Jerry Swift. Christopher Hall. Jim Vorwald from Xavier University, Camp Xavier, home for retired high school students. Uh, Molly Dunn, Shirley McRae Alley, everybody. All right. Well, I'll also tell you that we're right next to a train track in Glendale. So if a train comes by, you'll be sure to hear it. All right. Our first question, and this prize is you think in a paper bag no 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 this is not just an ordinary paper bag this is a magic paper bag because it comes with an invisible ball and what you do with the invisible ball is you just drop it into the bag like this pull it out you can take it you can throw it up in the air and catch it just like that so this duro paper bag with the invisible ball will be coming your way if you can answer this question first now i'm going to give some people some time to see if they know the answer without the choices okay so the question is what was herb tarlick's wife's name 
last name is Tarlick, looking for Herb Tarlick's wife's first name from WKRP in Cincinnati. So I'm going to first do it without choices. So if somebody really knows the answer, you'll win. Is uh, what was Herb Tarlick's wife's first name? You might picture the actress who played it. I, I love WKRP. Uh, when I first went out to LA looking for jobs in radio, I put WKRP on my resume. And Mr. Carlson was my contact point for that job. And everybody was like, wow, you really worked at WKRP? Yeah. You know, so there you go. Okay. The, has anybody gotten the name yet? You're not going to believe what happened. My phone overheated. So now we're taking this show on the road. My phone overheated. And, uh... So, and I don't have air conditioning in the used Prius. So I had to start moving to get a little wind going in here to cool off my phone. Um, I don't know how safe it's gonna be to be driving and looking at this, folks. I'm sorry, but due to technical difficulties, we may have to, this, this, this episode of Know-It-Alls will not be seen. Um, I will be back on the air very apologetically tomorrow at 5 and we will play know-it-alls again and the first question will remain the same with that fantastic prize but um, can anybody see me now? Um, it would be great to take this on the road. I'll have to get a producer who can read the questions back to me and I can just not pay attention and drive. And it can be from Tommy Seaver. How are you, Carl? Yep, you lost me. Yeah, yeah. Do the uh, high tech. But you know, I have to cancel the show because the cell phone got too hot. Man, what happened to my career? I used to be huge. Now I'm in a car <laughs> with a phone. Oh, this is great. Okay, folks, I'm going to have to pay attention to my driving. So tomorrow we will do this and I will have everything figured out, a nice, cool place to do it. All right, take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, kids.